Our lesson for today, that is integration of trigonometric functions. The integral of cosine u du, that is equal to sine u, d, sine u plus c. The integral of sine u du, that is equivalent to negative cosine u plus c. The integral of second squared u du, that is equivalent to tangent u plus c. The integral of cosecant squared u du, that is equivalent to negative cotangent u plus c. Well, the integral of second u tangent u du, that is equivalent to second u plus c. The integral of cosecant u cotangent u du, that is equivalent to negative cosecant u plus c. So, we have our first example, that is finding the integral of sine 3 theta d theta. So, in our example, we have our u here. So, we have a form of sine u du. We're in, so, we're, okay u is equal to 3 theta. Okay. So, our du, that is equivalent to 3 d theta. So, <clears throat> we will write that again. So, we have the integral of sine 3 theta, okay. we're in our du that is equivalent to 3 d theta. So we will have 3 d theta. Okay. So this is now our du. Since we add, we multiply 3 here. We are going to multiply one third outside. So therefore, we have now a complete form of this one. This is now your. This is now your sine u. So we have a form of sine u du from our formula. If we will have sine u du, the integral of sine u du, that would be equal to negative, okay, negative one third cosine three theta plus <clears throat> c. So that is now our final answer so this is now our final answer okay so the second example we have the integral of second squared 4x dx so if we are going to look at here our u in our given that is equal to 4x so therefore, derivative of 4x, so du is equal to 4 dx. <clears throat> so write the given again. We will have second squared 4x. Where in our du, that is equivalent to 4 dx. So, we multiply 4 here, so multiply 1 fourth outside. So, therefore, this one is our du. So, this one, this is our second squared u so from our formula we have 
the integral of second squared u du that is equivalent to one fourth tangent four x plus c because we have a complete form of the integral of second squared du so this is now our final answer so our third example that is the integral of cosine one half y dy so in our given our u here that is equivalent to u is equivalent to one half y so derivative of u that is equal to one half dy so rewrite the given again the integral of cosine one half y we're in okay we're in our du is equal to one half d y okay. so if you are going to look at here <clears throat> one half dy this is our du so therefore our answer that would be equal to the integral of cosine u du so the integral of cosine u du that is equivalent to but then okay we multiply one half here, one half dy, so we multiply one half. So therefore, we are going to multiply two outside. So our final answer, the integral of cosine u du, that would be equivalent to two sine one half y plus c so that is our final answer the next example we have the integral of cosecant squared 2t dt where in this example our u is equal to 2t so therefore derivative of u that is 2 d t so therefore we'll have the integral of cosecant squared 2 t du is 2 d t so multiply 2 so multiply 1 half outside so this one is our du so we have a form of the integral of cosecant squared u du so if you will have cosecant squared that is equivalent to negative cotangent so our answer that is equivalent to negative one half cotangent two t plus c so this is now our final answer so our next example that is the integral of cosecant 5t cotangent 5t dt where in our given our u is equal to 5t du then that is equal to 5 d t so therefore we have cosecant 5 t cotangent 5 t our du is equal to 
Our D is equal to 5 D T. We multiply 5, so multiply 1 over 5. So this is now a form of cosecant U, cotangent U, DU. 5 DT here, this is our DU. So therefore, our answer that is equivalent to 1 over 5 cosecant. 5t plus c. So that is now our final answer. Our next example that is the integral of second one half z tangent one half z dz, where our u in our given that is equal to one half z. So, du, that is equal to 1 half dz. So, if we are going to write that again, we have second 1 half z tangent 1 half z. Then, you will have 1 half dz this is our du that is our du we multiply one half so multiply outside two so therefore this is a form of second u tangent u du so our answer our final answer that is equal to the integral of second u tangent u that is equivalent to second u so therefore our answer will be 2 second 1 half z plus z plus c So, our next example, that is the integral of second squared 3x dx over 1 plus 4 tangent 3x, where u is equal to 1 plus 4 tangent 3x. <coughs> du, that is equal to 4 second squared 3x. Derivative of 3x, that is 3dx. So, therefore, you will have 12 second squared 3x dx. That is our du. So, therefore, you will have the integral of our du, that is 12 second squared 3x dx over 1 plus 4 tangent 3x so we multiply 12 for our du so multiply 1 over 12 so therefore you will have This is now, this one is our du, okay. and this one is our u. We have a form of, we have a form of du over u. So the integral of du over u, that is equal to 1 over 12 ln of 1 plus 
four tangent three x plus c. So that is now our final answer. So that is our final answer. So our next example, our next example that is the integral of sine 2t cosine 2t dt over 1 plus 3 cosine 40 where our u is equal to 1 plus 3 cosine 40 du here that is equal to negative 3 sine 40 Derivative of 40, that is 4 dt. So, therefore, we have du negative 12 sine 40 dt. So, we have... So, we will have <clears throat> the integral of negative, du is negative 12, sine 40 dt over 1 plus 3 cosine 40. We multiply negative 12, so multiply negative 1 over 12. So what happened now? We have sine 40. In fact, our given is sine 2t cosine 2t. So we have 1 over 12. So negative 12. Okay sine 40 so that is equivalent to 2 sine 2t cosine 2t dt all over 1 plus 3 cosine 4 t so we have sine 2 t cosine 2 t the same as the given but we multiplied 2 so still multiply 2 outside divide by 2 okay. So therefore, our answer that is equivalent to okay, your numerator here, this one, this is our du. So our numerator is our du. Denominator is our u. A form of, so... A form of du over u that is equivalent to ln. So we have a form of negative 1 over 24. Okay. Ln of 1 plus 3 cosine 4t plus c so that one that is our final answer
So, as a review, sign the note. Okay. Note here, sign 2A, that is equivalent to 2 sine A cosine A. So, as a review. So, this is now our final answer.